My name's Dave Parfit. I'm a DP and cinematographer specializing in the sports documentary space. I shoot NFL games, collegiate football and basketball, volleyball, interviews for documentaries. I'm also an area Alexa 35 and Amira owner. In my line of business, where you're 50 yards away from a tiny ball that's flying through the air and you need to zoom in on that, you need to grab focus by yourself and pull out, it's like an essential tool. That was the first thing that blew me away when I first used Nomura was I put my eye into the viewfinder and was just blown away by how much clearer it was than anything else I had seen. And then when I first put my eye into an MVF2, I was like, okay, well, how did they make this so much better? One thing that's always talked about when they bring up the A35 is the dynamic range. When you are a documentarian, you know, we're not working in spaces that we're getting to light. We are dealing with whatever is thrown our way. So when you're using these broadcast lenses, a lot of times you're just gonna be underexposed, even if it's just a cloudy day. So having a camera with a massive dynamic range that you don't have to worry about, is this image gonna be so dark when I see it on TV? I pass it off to some professional colorists. Every time I see it go on a screen, I'm just blown away. Especially when you're shooting games, you're not given an AC to pull focus for you. You're not gonna have a lot of support in terms of other bodies. Having a camera that's easily operational just by yourself is one thing I've loved about it. The shade hood, that was one of the most fun things when I first put my hands on it to see, you know, it's like a little iPad cover and it just pops up so nicely. It stays stiff, it doesn't fall off. It protects the screen when you're packing it away. Another tool that I love about Airy cameras is the ease of false color that they provide. I can so quickly just push a button on the viewfinder and be able to get perfect exposure every time. I'll usually find something on the field that represents a middle gray. Whenever I'm in a new situation, I can just pop on that false color where you're not just watching a touchdown happen and being like, hey, we scored, but you're seeing every moment in it. You see the quarterback drop back. You see him kind of looking around, realizing that, you know, he doesn't have anybody open and the pass rush is coming. So he makes a split decision to run up the field. And, you know, there's some fear in his eyes as people are coming and then some joy in his face as soon as, you know, he sees he's going to cross the end zone and score a touchdown. It's really a way of telling a mini story in, you know, just a couple seconds that you can just take so much more from it than you're just going to see on TV. It's incredible being able to film one thing and be able to use it for traditional broadcasts or for social, depending on what aspect ratios you want. And one of the things I've found on the 35 that makes that incredible is open gate. With such a large sensor, we can frame it up and put frame lines on the feed out to the client so they can really see. They can see what it's gonna look like on TV. They can see what it's gonna look like on social. So it's, it's helping me frame up both shots, but it's also giving them a much clearer idea of what that final product is gonna look like and the clients have loved it. When you're talking about sports videography, you're talking about just capturing the action and presenting it in the most straightforward way that you can. The difference between that and sports cinematography is just the feeling that we are trying to present to the audience. The depth of the shot, you know, I wanted them to be able to see the detail. I want them to be at a different angle where they really feel like they're out on the field. I don't know how to define it, but I know it when I see it. And that's what I think about in videography versus cinematography. You know, it's something that's hard to put into words, but that's why we have cinematographers. That's why we have tools like Aries, because they don't need words to express that same emotion that you're trying to get out.